guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be making sugar cookies from the Betty Crocker sugar cookie mix. You can get it at BJ's. So the ingredients you're gonna be needing are a, a half cup of melted butter, one egg, and then the sugar cookie mix. We're gonna start off by adding our sugar cookie mix. I had to cut the hole a little bit. And I also had my brothers helping me. Wanna add this place? And of course, Ryan got a haircut. And I'm gonna put the first for you. You can see me inside the brown one. Chelsea, I all over my face. I do you because you got a haircut today. And Bryce, you can add the egg. Thank you. Drop mix that yolk. Now we gotta mix this yep. up. I think you can like form it. It's like a gel with your hand, so. Now we gotta get your cookie sheet. And we need to get a spoon. And we're going to add like on to your hand. So I'm gonna do all the rest of the all the other cookies. On the pan, so we are now gonna put them in the oven. For how long again? Eight to ten minutes. Keep track on eight to ten minutes when you're putting done out of the oven at 375. So we're gonna put them aside. And we're gonna now be making royal icing. So the ingredients you're gonna be needing are two and a half cups of confectioner sugar, um, two, two and a half tablespoons of corn syrup, a quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract, and you're gonna need some milk because you're just gonna add a little bit at a time in the bowl. So you're going to add all of your ingredients into the bowl. Well, well, we forgot to say in each video, it doesn't matter if you wanna make what you do, a face or something, doesn't just matter if you do it, then you can always make it better. Yep. Just add a little bit, okay? Okay. Let's try this. Okay, to mix it up. So this round, we're good. we don't want it to be super thin. We want it to be like not really thick, just like medium-ish. I don't know. And then we're going to add it into a piping bag and put it in cookies. And you're not gonna add all of the batter in it. You're going to just it add might, a little bit. It might be too much flour. It's not flour, sugar. Mm. But that's flour. Yeah. But I'll be back with you guys once this turns into an icing. Done. This is how it should look like. And so now we're going to be adding just a little bit of green food coloring until it's like the right color you want it. So I'm gonna uh, add like one drop ready? and then add see how it turns. Doodle on your hand. Oh. Two drops. Okay. And then we'll see what color that turns into. Right, so if you need more, you can add some more, okay? Okay. Let's mix I that up and see what color. 
blue, it's kind of like the St. Patrick's Day green. St. Patrick's Day green. Mm -hmm. St. Patrick's Day green. Uh, St. Patrick's Day just the green. Yeah. A certain color. Wow. I think I want it a little bit darker. So I'm just gonna add like maybe a, a drop. Mm -hmm. So just add just you wanna help me? I got this. Okay, just add drop more. Okay. And we'll see what color that turns into. I know. I think this is just going to be a little darker green. Mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. We might need to put another one in. We no, I think this is a good color. Well, it's, it's like kind a of mint color. Yeah, it's well, like it's a mint. nice mint green. And I think this is good because I don't want it to be too dark, just like a nice color. So now we're gonna get a piping bag. And we're not gonna put all of the icing in because this is just gonna be the icing for the border. So so it doesn't like leak everywhere when you put it in. Hopefully so I'll be back with you guys once all the icing is in the bag. we be putting like a border around the cookie. We're just going to wipe around the cookie and do all the other ones. The border helps it so then when you put the royal icing on, it won't like get like it won't like go everywhere. Because with the icing it's gonna be a little thinner, you're gonna add more milk to it. So this is thicker to help the icing from going everywhere. So I'll be back with you guys once all the icing has the border around it. Now we're just gonna be adding a little bit of milk into our icing, it makes it thinner, but a little bit of milk goes a long way. So if you add too much milk, you can always add um, confectionic sugar, but if you add too much confectionic sugar, you can add more milk to make it thinner. But you just want it to be just a little bit thinner, so then that way it can spread around the cookies easily. And while we do that, it kind of like hardens a little bit so then that way when we do it, it won't go everywhere. To um, put the icing on the cookies. So we're just going to use like a spoon. You could use a piping bag, but it'll come out really fast. So you're just gonna use a spoon. And the goal is to not like overfill it because the icing is just gonna slide. You just push it into the corner. And then Ryan, he can be adding some sprinkles on top of the cookies. Mm -hmm. You can do any color sprinkles. Green or We silver. got green and silver. Silver bubbles. No, these are not the ones. That means you the green. These are not the ones. Just gonna do that. So I'll be back with you guys once the cookies are all done. Cookies are done. We added some sprinkles on top of it. They look like really good. So, who wants to try the first bite? Ah, me. Ah, me. Okay, you need to get one. Yay! I wanna. I really wanna try. Go. Mm -hmm. Good. Really good. Mhm. Mm Make sure you subscribe here to look at my last video here. Bye. It's a notification.